What is going on, Madness family? I hope all is well. Hope all is well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, staying safe, spreading love like always. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about how to love yourself, all right? But before we go ahead and dive into it, why don't you go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you get every, every video that I drop. But I'm going to keep this thing rolling like a gravy train, you dig? So in the meantime right now, pretty much what you should be doing is shadow work. How to love yourself more. You should be focusing on shadow work. Before you even do anything else, shadow work is the main thing you really want to do. You want to start working on building up your like confidence, building up your self within, going within, start meditating, sitting down in a dark room if you can with some frequency noises, and start meditating. Start really just diving head first into that and um, start thinking about your thoughts, clearing out all the negativity from your thoughts. Just really just doing you. It's raining right now. I got the thunder gods out there right now. Those are my ancestors. But just really start meditating. If you don't know how to meditate, you need to close your eyes and you want to try to look up at the ceiling, I, I, I notice it's much more easier to close your eyes and try to look up. Like, it's almost like you want your eyes to be rolled back in the back of your head, you know what I'm saying? So I realize it's much more easier to meditate like that. And once you dive into it and start doing a lot more, you'll be able to go within and start fixing tiny things. Like, you have to be able to, like, unplug yourself from this world for just one second, right? Unplug yourself from everything. Unplug yourself from your job your relationship, your family. Unplug yourself. Sit down with yourself. You don't gotta pray. Close your eyes. Put on some frequency noises. Talk to yourself within. Talk to yourself. Most of us need this. Most of us don't got it, but you have to sit down and talk to yourself. This is how you find things out from within. This is how you see how truly, this is, how you find out how truly you are, like how true you are. This is where you find out what you are inside, what you are just beyond this flesh. This is how you're gonna find out. Cause this flesh right here is is nothing. You know, it's just it's the physical body. That's that's all it is. It's just the physical body. Oh. Thunder gods. But it's the physical body. So once you can actually learn how to start doing that, it'll feel good. It'll feel good to go within. It's, it's nothing wrong with going within. That's how you, that's how we live. You know what I'm saying? That That's how we survive. That's how our ancestors used to survive. They meditate, they went within. Learn your mudras. You know what I'm saying? Learn your mudras with your hands. Learn which ones know what. I'm still learning them. So I'm not perfect with that, but that's another. that's another way too. Once you start loving yourself, it's easier to connect with yourself. It's easier to connect with the high. It's easier to connect with the highest, the high power God. <clears throat> Once you start to go within, you start to feel everything else that just rolls all out easily on your plate. Like thoughts become quicker, your confidence becomes stronger. You as a person. I become a better person. You start changing up the way how you move through the cosmos and the matrix. You start eating better. Literally start eating better. You just start doing good things for yourself. You start taking care of the temple. A lot of people don't take care of the temple. A lot of people don't even know how to take care of their temple. They're thinking they're taking care of the temple, but they're not. A lot of people don't even recognize fruit can be GMO. A lot of people don't recognize meat can be bad. A lot of people don't recognize, see, they're not taking care of the temple. They think they are, but they're not. If you start to meditate, you can find everything within. All your answers come within. You don't need no Google. You don't need no cell phone. Because that's all going to be within. It's all going to flow. Like, it's going to hit you like that. You're going to be like, and then you're going to see images and visuals of things. Things are going to be telling you things. I'm saying like you might connect with something that's out of this world and it's going to tell you what's wrong which is going to tell you what's going to happen before then these are things these are connections 
This is what meditate does. Not praying or talking out loud, but going within and talking to yourself. Closing your eyes, breathing, talking to yourself, checking yourself out, finding out what's going on. Because we, because most of us, most people don't live in the astral world, in the spiritual world. A lot of people live in the physical realm, which is this right now, which is the right now realm. A lot of people still can't find a way of how to wander off in the spiritual world. They're still asleep. They're not tapped in into the matrix around them. They're not tapped in into the source of harmony around them. When I meditate, I see all type of shapes and everything, shapes, and I, I, I get in contact with a lot of different stuff. Something that's trying to contact me when I'm meditating. And this is, is making it more interesting that I'm getting in contact with things like this nowadays because it makes it fun to see what's out there. It makes it fun to be able to fix myself within. Once I, st once I get better at this, start astral projecting, start going places, oh, it's over. That's tough. It's over. It's over. I'm just going to be having fun with it. I'm, 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 I'm going to be doing it all the time. It's simple. Like, literally, I just got, I be getting visuals now, man. I could see things before it happened. This is what meditation does. And everybody has a different type of psychic ability. Not everybody has that same ability. Everybody have a different one. Some people might can see the, some people might can see in the past or some people might can see their visions or you might just be able to do things out of out of this world like i'm not even tapping into my fullest cap uh, capability of knowing how meditation works for me i'm still learning and growing you know what i'm saying i'm still learning and growing but i am getting better though so once you start meditating that's going to be a good another way to start loving yourself because you're going to see what you need to fix when you start meditating this is called shadow work you have to go within and fix up every corner when you clean a house you clean a house from corner to corner from room to room right you vacuum a rug from corner to corner you know what i'm saying like that's what you're gonna be doing when you start meditating you're gonna be fixing yourself from corner to corner you're gonna find that shit you gonna find that shit. If you stay long in this video, man, go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy. Hit that comment, subscribe button of what you think if you are meditating and what you think um about this, about this uh shadow work. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much everybody have their own different opinions, everybody have their own different things, everybody's different. So y'all just let me know what y'all think. I love y'all, y'all stay safe. I'm out, man.